Hey YouTube, this is Quaxo with something different today. I'm going to show you guys how to make your Minecraft files smaller. So Minecraft works with chunks, which are 16 by 16 block regions, so that it's easier to load Minecraft maps. Now, a lot of these chunks are useless. So this world is generated using a void, and therefore there's going to be nothing. While in a normal world, there's going to be the map that you're mostly recognizing with, and in Super Flat, it's just going to be the same thing over and over again. So, in this case, I want to get rid of all the chunks that aren't in my map, like all these void ones right here, because Minecraft files, they still are the same size even when it's void. So, we need to get rid of all these voids to make the map smaller. And there's a lot of other useless files that we can get rid of, and I'm going to show you guys that whenever the video is about to finish. So, the first thing we're going to do is open MC Edit, as that's really the best way to get rid of your chunks. So, I'm going to open it now. Alright, so this is the map. And it's obviously not the same one. This is actually a copy of it, but I added some new chunks that I generated on my own. And these chunks are going, let's pretend that they're the void chunks. So like in a normal map, these chunks won't be the best looking. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so the chunks will probably just be splattered all over the place because of how Minecraft generation works. So we want to keep this map, and I'm going to show you how. What you want to do is go to chunk control with your world, and you want to select the chunks that you want to keep and then it's pretty simple you just click on the prune button and then all the chunks besides it will be deleted you can use a delete to delete any chunks you want individually instead of just only keeping a certain few if you want to go faster and that's about it so this map looks a lot smaller and nicer now with a lot less chunks and I'm going to show you the file types now that you can use so this is from docs.oc.tc, which is a Minecraft server, and they have a lot of useful tutorials on this website on how to package your map as well if you don't understand something from the video. So all these files, it really depends on what you're making, honestly. If you're making a map like me, you probably just want to follow these requirements. But if you're making your own map, for some reason, if you need the villages data, then I would keep that in there. But if not, then you can delete it. I mean, these are the important ones. The region and the level of that, this is where the chunk files are stored. And this just stores global information that's required. So that's about it. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy the tutorial.